Welcome to Grand Sumo Highlights. Today we bring you the opening day of the November tournament, the final grand tourney of 2016. In this tournament, the September champion Goedo, who won the championship with a perfect 15-0, will be gunning for a promotion to the top rank of Yokozuna. The top dog, Hakuho, returns to action after sitting out the September contest. He's hoping to capture his 38th top division championship. So there's plenty to see in the November tourney. So stay with us for the entire show. We bring you the action from Kokusai Center in Fukuoka. Southwestern Japan. First up, it is Ishimura, the Shinyumaku rookie on the left hand side against Shio Tairu on the right. Ishimura is one of two rookies in the top division this time. He's got to use his speed and mobility to succeed fighting against much bigger opponents. Shotaidi on the right, making his return to the top division for the <laughs> first time since the May competition. A sharp initial charge by Shotaidi, Ishiura gets slapped down. A rough first day for the rookie as he gets roughed up by Shotaidi. Shotaidi, one and all. A very good start for the hard pusher thruster. A dejected Ishiura, he's come back stronger on day two. Ishiura tries to get inside of Chiotairu, but Chiotairu blocks. Chiotairu came in with a fierce charge and knocked Ishiura's socks off. It's a Hatakikomi slap down. That's the Kimarite winning technique. Up next, it's Soko Kurai versus Ichinojo. Ichinojo set out the entire 15 days in September with a sore back. He's hoping to redeem himself. So Kokurai enters this tournament after having suffered four consecutive losing tournaments. So Kokurai comes in lower and gets a solid left hand outside grip. Chest to chest in the middle of the dojo or the ring. So Kokurai attacks. But Ichinojo holds his ground. So Kokurai now gets a right hand inside grip and flexes his muscles once again. This time he succeeds and sends big Ichinojo over the straw bales. A relentless attack by So Kokurai to score his victory. So So Kokurai gets off a Nice start, one and all. So Kokurai on the left comes in much lower than Ichinojo, his opponent. Ichinojo, his center of gravity is high. So Kokurai trying to attack Ichinojo right away with that left hand outside grip. He does, but Ichinojo holds his ground. Ichinojo comes back to the middle of the dojo. Now So Kokurai has the right hand inside, firm grip as well. From here, Ichinojo gets driven back. So Kokurai drops his hips. Ichinojo gets a grip for a moment, but it's broken up by Soko Kurai. Soko Kurai is showing good defense as well in this match. Now Soko Kurai being relentless. Attacks. And Ichinojo has nowhere to go but out. It's Daisho Maru versus Hokuto Fuji. Okuto Fuji is a rookie in the top division. He fought under the name Daiki in the previous tournament in Jirio. He was the Jirio champion in September. That's the second highest division. Daisho Mario only went 4 and 11 in the previous contest. Okuto Fuji eludes Daisho Mario's charge and follows up nicely with a pushing attack. And there he goes. The rookie gets his first win. 
a very impressive start by the rookie, Hokuto Fuji. Watch Hokuto Fuji on the right gets a good reaction. Watching his opponent nicely, squares up with his opponent, gets the pushing and thrusting attack, good hand placement, good hip placement as well, and gets the W. Once again from another angle. Good follow through. And look at that, extending both of his arms. Nicely, Oshidashi frontal push out. So what was the first day in the top division like? Well, there are so many spectators. And I was nervous. I want to keep moving forward and fight hard until the final day. All right, Mio Giri on the left-hand side from the east side against Ikioi on the right. Mio Giri has come up short in each of the last three tournaments. His last winning tournament was way back in March. Ikioi is struggling in recent competitions. He's hoping to score more wins than losses for the first time since March. Yogiri shifts to his left, but he gets blocked by Ikkyo. Ikkyo launches and he crushes Yogiri. Once Ikkyo stopped Yogiri's charge, he was all Ikkyo. Watch how Yogiri shifts to his left to get that left hand outside grid. He gets it, but he is unable to do anything with it. Ikkyo locks up Miyogiri's left arm and goes forward. This right arm lock attack from Ikkyo has become his favorite weapon, a favorite technique. And he crushes Miyogiri down hard. Once again, right shoulder charge by Ikkyo. And look at that left hand inside grip as well. An upending Miyogiri at the edge. Yoritaoshi frontal crush out. Ikioi makes his way back to the dressing room, looking very confident. It's Koto Yuki facing off Shoda. Look, at many fans are holding up signs with Shodai's name on it to show their support. In September, Shodai was winless after seven days, but came back to win seven of his last eight matches to go seven and eight. People were worried when Kotoyuki only won two matches in July, but he bounced back nicely with 10 victories in September. It's a hard pushing and thrusting battle. Kotoyuki pounds Shodai, but Shodai rallies. Shodai takes few licks. But he perseveres and sends Kotoyuki out from the rear. Kotoyuki was doing the damage on Shodai, but Shodai resisted and he gets the victory. Shodai certainly took Koto Yuki's best shot in this one. Shodai, his position is up high, so he's receiving those thrusting attack from Koto Yuki. We would like to see more offense from Shodai, but in this match, it was all Koto Yuki doing the damage, but Shodai somehow came from behind to find the victory. Okuri Dashi rear push out win for Shodai. Now it is Sekiwake Takayasu who is hoping to make Ozeki on the left against Endo on the right. A promotion to the second highest Ozeki rank is on the line for Takayasu this tourney. Can he rise to the occasion? Endo won 13 matches in September and was the winner of the Technique Prize. Can he repeat the feat? Two of the promising stars in sumo today. 
These two have faced off nine times. Endo leads the series six to three. Here we go. Takayasu knocks Endo back. Endo has no answer. Out goes Endo. A lopsided victory for Takayasu. A quality win for the Ozeki wannabe Takayasu. Let's see how he overwhelms Endo. See, Endo is trying to thrust Takayasu back, but Takayasu rallies. Takayasu gets his pushing and thrusting going, and he's thrusting from a much lower angle. And that was the key for Takayasu's victory. Once again, Takayasu stays lower than Endo. Thrusting from a lower angle and keeping up the pressure from start to finish. Tsukidashi frontal thrust out win. It is Yoshikaze versus Ozeki Terno Fuji. Yoshikaze has been somewhat an up and down year for this man. He would like to show more consistency. For Ozeki Terunofuji, another poor outing will result to his demotion to a lower rank. Yoshikaze stays low and goes deep inside of Terunofuji. Yoshikaze keeps up the pressure and lifts up Terunofuji and beats him. The upset number one of the November tournament. Yoshikaze defeating Ozeki Terunofuji. What an impressive win by Yoshikaze. Right hand slap by Terno Fuji doesn't do any good as Yoshikaze finds himself with a nice left and inside grip. He attacks, takes Terno Fuji to the edge, and this is when the crowd went wild. When he lift up big Mongolian Ozeki, it's a Tsuridashi frontal lift out win for Yoshikaze. Koto Shogiku versus Kaisei. Ozeki Koto Shogiku's highlight moment in 2016 has been his first title winning contest in January. He hails from Fukuoka, and that's why he gets a huge fan support. After going 6-9 and nine in the previous tourney, Kaisei has been re relegated to a rank-and-file position for the first time in four tournaments. Otoshogi <laughs> gets a left-hand shallow grip, and there he goes. Otoshogi shoves Kaisei out for a victory. Koto Shogiku not breaking a sweat in this one. And he pleases his hometown crowd. Watch how it's done by Koto Shogiku. It's no dilly dally today from Koto Shogiku. Uwate Dashinage pulling over arm throw with his left hand. It's Aoyama facing off Ozeki Xenosato. With a 10 and 5 record in September, Xenosato's quest to make Yokozuna is back to the drawing board. Over the years, Aoyama has become a very difficult opponent for Xenosato. Right hand slap by Xenosato and he goes after Aoyama. Xenosato blows Aoyama away. 
Aoyama was no match for Xeno Sato today. A solid win for the Ozeki. There was a lot of speed in Xeno Sato's sumo today. Doesn't waste any time in taking care of the big Bulgarian. Right hand slap, gets an inside grip. Drives, drops the sips, and Yorikiri front of four south. Now it's Goedo's turn to deliver. He is facing off Tochi Ozan. Goedo and Tochi Ozan have met 32 times before. Goedo leads the series 19 to 13. The winner of the September contest with an undefeated record of 15 wins is going to earn a promotion to Yokozuna. Tochi Ozan is no cakewalk for Goedo. It should be a great match. Goedo charges. He already has Tochi Ozan at the edge. Tochi Ozan tries a counter move, but Goedo keeps his balance and shoves Tochi Ozan out. Goedo fought with a lot of poise today, watching his opponent and not being too hasty. So Goedo picks up his win on the opening day. Goedo picking up where he left off, an auspicious start for the Ozeki. The key for Goedo in this one was that Goedo never stopped going forward. He kept up the pressure, kept up the attack, kept Tochi Ozan on his heels. Tochi Ozan almost came away with the win, but Goedo, look at the balance. That just shows how much practice Goedo has done before coming into this tournament. Goedo is well prepared in a moment like this. When Tochi Ozan tries to hit that thrust down, Goedo was certainly ready and was able to counter with a nice offensive move. Good charge by Goedo. Tochi Ozan on his heels already. Tochi Ozan backing up. Although Tochi Ozan tries to hit that come from behind thrust down victory right here, Goedo was on top of Tochi Ozan from start to finish. Oshidashi frontal push out win for Goedo. It is Yokozuna Hakuho versus Sekiwake Okinomi. Hakuho returns to action after missing the entire 15 days of the previous tournament with this right big toe injury. Okinomi defeated two Yokozuna and three Ozeki in September. He's hoping to duplicate that kind of performance in Fukuoka. Hako stops Okinomi's charge and thrusts him down to the clay. An easy day at the office for Hakuho. So Hakuho easily goes to 1-0. Hako charges with his right shoulder, gets a left hand outside grip, loses the grip, but he shows a lot of poise and he's showing no ring rust. Welcome to Grand Sumo Highlights. Today we bring you the opening day of the November tournament, the final grand tourney of 2016. In this tournament, the September champion Goedo, who won the championship with a perfect 15 and 0, will be gunning for a promotion to the top rank of Yokozuna. 
The top dog, Hakuho, returns to action after sitting out the September contest. He's hoping to capture his 38th top division championship. So there's plenty to see in the November tourney. So stay with us for the entire show. We bring you the action from Kokusai Center in Fukuoka, southwestern Japan. First up it is Ishimura, the Shinyumaku rookie on the left-hand side against Shio Tairyu on the right. Ishiura is one of two rookies in the top division this time. He's got to use his speed and mobility to succeed fighting against much bigger opponents. Shiotairi on the right making his return to the top division for the first time since the May competition. A sharp initial charge by Shiotairi. Ishiura gets slapped down. A rough first day for the rookie as he gets roughed up by Shiotairi. Chiu Tairyu, one and all. A very good start for the hard pusher thruster. A dejected Ishiura. He's come back stronger on day two. Ishiura tries to get inside of Chiu Tairyu, but Chiu Tairyu blocks. Chiu Tairyu came in with a fierce charge and knocked Ishiura's socks off. It's a Hatakikomi slap down. That's the Kimarite winning technique. Up next, it's Soko Kurai versus Ichinojo. Ichinojo sat out the entire 15 days in September with a sore back. He's hoping to redeem himself. So Kokurai enters this tournament after having suffered four consecutive losing tournaments. So Kokurai comes in lower and gets a solid left hand outside grip. Chest to chest in the middle of the dojo or the ring. So Kokurai attacks, but Ichinojo holds his ground. Sokokurai now gets a right hand inside grip and flexes his muscles once again. This time, he succeeds and 